Welcome back to the Dr. Glidden Show. This is Mike Phillip filling in once again. Dr. Glidden is in Winnipeg uh, doing a very big TV broadcast. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty. But you know what? GCN is such a great network that we're going to cut him some slack because everybody makes mistakes. It happens, people. It happens. So we got a few things that we're going to talk about today. I'm waiting to hear... Uh, if we've got my co-host Mike on the line, but you know what? If they don't get him, that's okay. We can do this show without him. Listen to this. This is from drugwatch.com. First Zarelto stroke, stroke lawsuit filed as total case number grows. Now, this is something that we've been following for quite a while now. Uh, Zarelto has been known for a long time to cause bleeding deaths. But you know what? Even that after that started coming out, it didn't stop them from prescribing it. I'm going to read a little bit from this article. Hundreds of people filed lawsuits against Bayer and Johnson & Johnson claiming their blood-thinning drug Zarelto caused them to suffer negative side effects like uncontrollable bleeding. Now the daughter of a Florida man who died from a stroke four years after he began taking Zarelto filed a lawsuit in Philadelphia claiming the drug did not work as advertised. Didn't work as advertised. Failing to prevent stroke in a patient with atrial fibrillation or a funky heartbeat. Now, I've seen people overcome atrial fibrillation. I really have. And in our view, it's caused by a nerve being pinched off between the vertebrae, okay? So all you got to do is strengthen the spinal column and it shouldn't be a problem, right? But we don't do that in modern Western medicine. No, we do not. We wait until the problem gets so bad that uh, surgery is needed. And that's the problem. Is it their fault? Or is it our fault? I mean, do we, do, do we take enough preventative measures at home to make sure that we don't end up on the operating table? Well, that's the fundamental principle of this show. The article goes on. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Zarelto to reduce the risk of stroke in patients with atrial fibrillation in 2011, but one FDA reviewer recommended against the drug's approval. The data do not convincingly demonstrate that Zarelto is as effective in preventing strokes and systemic emboli or blood clots as warfarin, otherwise known as rat poison, when warfarin is used skillfully. So the skillful use of rat poison uh, is claimed to be better than Zarelto, which causes uncontrollable bleeding. And I've got it on good word that uh, Mike is with us. How you doing, Mike? I'm here. Excellent. How was the Star Trek convention? Star Trek convention. Oh, I must. I thought I was talking to somebody else. <laughs> I, all right. So, before we connected with you, I was just telling everybody we're going to cut GCN a little slack because uh, you know, anytime there's a live broadcast, things happen. And uh, but we were talking about these lawsuits against Zarelto which was being prescribed to prevent strokes and blood clots in patients with atrial fibrillation or AFib. So, you know, you're trading bad for worse. And here's the thing. We don't even know really that it was Zarelto that ultimately caused it. I believe that it played a hand in what was going on. But here's the thing. The person that they put the drug on already had a broken down, malnourished body as evidenced by the fact that the connective tissue between the vertebrae was getting soft and pinching off nerves, causing a funky heartbeat. And then you add to that cocktail a toxic drug. What are your thoughts, Mike? You know, honestly, that's pretty much it. Like, we don't know for sure if the drug killed him. He was already in a bad state. They're, they're not going to turn around and put somebody necessarily on a prescription blood thinner unless they feel that 
you know, he's in a state where something like aspirin, um, you know, or, or natokinase or anything like that won't work. So that, that's the concept. I mean, as toxic as the pharmaceuticals are and as boneheaded as most medical doctors are, they do follow certain guidelines. Now, you know, taking a medical drug for four days could contribute to something. You know what? He's already in a mess situation as is. So I think I think that stroke was just was just coming anyways. So could be, but I mean, the drug could be the straw that broke the camel's back. It, it could be. It could be. Um, it, it's really difficult to tell. I mean, I mean, I don't. I, I don't know how coroners and people who do autopsies. Uh, you know, can put two and two together, but they're usually pretty good at it. I mean, I never figured out how. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I really don't know what to say about this exact situation because it could be anything that did it. You know, the, the, the drug could have factored into it. He could have had uh, a clot already in there that was because he died of stroke, I believe, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, a stroke after four days on a medication that may or may not prevent strokes in the first place because, you know, blood thinners don't exactly prevent strokes. It's still all in theoretical phases, you know. Um, well, here's the other funny. thing that you got to take into account. There are people that are absolute crack addicts that live 40 years and they do it every day. Oh, yeah. Some of them can live even longer. The, the body is a very resilient and powerful system. I mean, it, is. it can take damage and damage and damage and damage. Um, it, it it's kind of sad sometimes that you know somebody gets on a a drug or you know you could stub your toe and somehow end up getting a gangrene infection, dying you know. But it's like it's like we we could usually handle a big beating. So for this guy to get knocked out on his butt after four days on a drug, it, it has to have been really really poor lifestyle in the first place. He he was he was already down the the the, the poop shoot so to say you know. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, but, you know, the only person that wins in this is the lawyers. Well, the pharmaceutical industry is not going to really lose much anyways. What's going to happen is the lawyers are going to make money, yep. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to make money. But what's going to happen is the pharmaceutical industry already puts aside money for these these situations anyways. And a lot of the times what they'll do is they'll just settle out of court and... You know, it, it, so it's going to be reported that this guy's suing the company. It's going to be settled out of court. Then they're going to say, oh, look, nothing came of that lawsuit. So now it's going to reinforce our image with the public because, look, this guy didn't die from our drug. Oh, there's no evidence that he died from our drug. So that makes our drug more popular or it makes it more more valid. You know what I mean? That's sometimes the case, too. True that, and then, like, you know, as we mentioned earlier, you get the ambulance chasers involved, and sky's the limit, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's true. There's there's quite a few of them. They're out there, that's for sure. Let's go over to another article here from Drug Watch right after this break. Mike and Mike filling in for Dr. Peter Glidden. Got off to a shaky start, but uh, things are going to be just fine. People, so sit back and enjoy the show. We'll be back after this. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start 
start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacral wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the Sacro Wedgie. This is Sharon Hunt. Before using heart and body extract, my energy level was very, very low. I could only walk a few feet and then would have to sit down. I was tired and lethargic. But after taking heart and body extract, my energy level has improved greatly, and I can now walk longer distances without getting tired so fast. Thank you, heart and body extract. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 961 That's 800 961 your house is under attack. Every day, our homes and families are attacked by harmful gases, mold, and pollutants caused by everyday activities. According to the EPA, indoor air can be 5 to 100 times worse than outdoor air. And the American Lung Association states that poor indoor air can cause infections and chronic lung diseases such as asthma. Protect your family with a complete indoor air quality package from Wave Home Solutions. Wave ventilation units for basements and crawl spaces reduce moisture that nourishes mold, odor, dust mites, and expels gases and pollutants. Add the Wave 6 Stage Air Purifier to get rid of the viruses, chemicals, and pollutants upstairs for a complete indoor air quality solution. A healthy home is the best investment you can make. Visit wavehomesolutions.com. That's wavehomesolutions.com. Or call 888-758-WAVE. That's 888-758-WAVE. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. If you're like me, you're concerned about the stock market and the economy. You're asking the questions, but it just doesn't seem that you're getting the right answers. Well, my friends at the Wealth Preservation Institute not only have the answers, but they've put together a free report, How to Survive the Upcoming Economic Collapse and Protect Your 401Ks, IRA Savings, and Retirement Income. Don't hesitate. This report's for free for a limited time by calling 888-772-2929. That's 888-772-2929. Take back your financial lives today. We're back live, Mike and Mike, filling in once again for Dr. Peter Glidden. And before the break, at the beginning of the show, we were talking about a couple of articles I pulled up from drugwatch.com. And this one is interesting for a multitude of reasons, and we'll get into them after I read just a little bit here. Listen to this. Pharma-funded testosterone courses misled doctors. Think about that. Pharma-funded testosterone courses misled doctors. So their education process misled them. I'm going to read a little bit. Pharmaceutical companies infiltrated the classrooms of continuing medical education courses, funded instructors, and presented inaccurate medical views regarding the safety and efficacy of testosterone treatments. A new report maintains big pharma funded at least 75 educational courses involving testosterone replacement therapy 65 of which included faculty members who had previously worked at a company that made testosterone treatments think about that according to an investigation by the milwaukee journal sentinel and MedPage today More than half of all faculty involved in the courses made money from pharmaceutical companies for speaking, consulting, or advising fees, according to the investigation. Testosterone therapy has been criticized because because it can cause side effects like blood clot strokes and heart attacks. The multi-billion, with a B, dollar testosterone industry grew rapidly during the past decade, and industry-funded courses played a large role 
in Big Pharma's marketing plan. So their marketing plan involved misrepresenting safety of certain products. Now, I don't find this half as interesting that it it's about a testosterone uh, therapy product. I find it more interesting that they're even reporting that the pharmaceutical industry had infiltrated the education process of the doctors in this aspect. And here's the thing. They could say that this is the first time or make a big deal out of it, but it happens all the time, and it's been happening for years. Mike, your thoughts? Yeah, well, I mean, the whole pharmaceutical education system, the whole medical system, so whether or not you're studying to be a nurse, personal support worker, medical doctor, pharmacist, it's been infiltrated a long time ago, long, long time ago. Okay, long before this article. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. The Flexner Report was the beginning of the end, you know, of, 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 of natural medicine as we knew it back then. And it's, it was the rise of this Nazi-produced medication, like, you know, Bayer Pharmaceuticals, as we had already mentioned. Um, you know, we mentioned them about the other product and stuff. And, and, and you know, Bayer is, is a branch of IG Farben from, from World War II. So, you know, right there, you should, you should have some red flags. Now, yeah, the pharmaceutical industry was um, caught, I believe it was three years ago, um, they admitted that they bribed um, 57,000 doctors or, or 47,000 doctors um, with um, more than $20,000 worth of products each. Now, what they do is when you're in college or university studying to be a doctor, pharmacist, etc., you're going to be showered with gifts from these pharmaceutical companies. So a, a GlaxoSmithKline representative will walk in and he'll have, you know, a bag full of stethoscopes and pencils and calculators and knapsacks and, you know, things that vibrate in your hands and all kinds of fun things. And they'll hand them out and they'll say, hey, you know, we're, we're glad you're going to be on the team. You know, I'm from GSK and this is some products for you. And so it starts when they're still babies in the first or second year of school and, and, and it's brand marketing and awareness. So they become, you know, you're going through school and you're just like, you know, I really like that guy from Bayer. I, I really like that Johnson and Johnson guy. And I really like this calculator and I'm going to, I'm going to wear my Johnson and Johnson stethoscope everywhere I go. And, and that's where it starts. And then it mentions the continuing education of doctors. Now, continuing education is something that's mandatory for for medical doctors, naturopaths, and quite a few regulated um, uh, health industry uh, professionals. So they've got to so, be so upgrading like, constantly. Yeah, upgrading constantly. But the way that the medical world does their continuing education, it's, it's always funded by the pharmaceutical companies, and they're going to fly you out to Hawaii or, or, or fly you out to some place with golf courses. Oh, there's the music. You're out of time, Mike, but keep your spot. I want to talk about this on the other side. Hard break. Mike and Mike filling in for Dr. Glidden. We'll be back after this. Before the break, we were talking about the... Uh, institutionalized uh, profit driven brainwashing in the education process when it comes to MDs now a lot of these people I believe get into the medical field because they do want to do good some of them just want to get rich I imagine they want the prestige that comes with being a doctor but we were talking about how you know they can get showered with gifts they are conditioned to like certain products no matter what you know through these gifts and special treatment but there's another aspect to it as well that i've actually heard doctors talk about and that is the grueling uh educational process and it's kind of like the army where they've got to break you down in order to build you back up in their image so there is a brainwashing aspect to it as well. What are your thoughts on that aspect, Michael? Um, well, you know, having <laughs> having experience. All right. It, um, I could. Uh, I could. We do not have Mike. It. So we're not going to get his. 
his outlook on it. <laughs> but I'm, I've I'm actually here. heard doctors Hello. talk about that. And Hello. so, you know, on, on the one side, you've got the brainwashing in the educational system. On the other side, you have the brainwashing of the public in order to accept a situation that would otherwise be intolerable. So, you know, you've got... You've got uh, TV shows like uh, like House or Grey's Anatomy or Bones. And I don't watch a lot of TV, but one time I was watching one of them and they were talking about what a great day it was and how they all waited for this certain pharmaceutical rep to show up at the hospital. And, you know, it showed these three guys in scrubs drooling because Heather Locklear was walking in the building and they played the oh yeah music when she's walking in and the wind's blowing her hair and uh, you know how great it was and how sexy it is to be a representative for a pharmaceutical company so you know and, and I can't stand medical drama shows I hate them they just they're terrible but if you want a case study in the reason why we're in the situation that we're in, watch them because I mean, you know, I, and, and you'll hear people talk about it. I was now? watching house and I really like that guy. Cause he's a jerk. Hey Mike, <laughs> you know, that makes him likable. Have we got Mike on the line? I don't know. I'm, I'm All right. I cannot hear Mike. And so my board operator, if you would take care of that, that would be great. Now we're going to skip over to another subject and by the way if you want to call into the show and comment on anything we're talking about or you have any questions 844-374-5433 is the line now listen to this this is interesting this is off of fox news medication errors happen in half of all surgeries study says you have me half that's half, 50%. And I bet you that's a con, uh, conservative estimate. In past studies, doctors rarely self-reported medication errors during surgery. Because who's going to know, right? The patient's sleeping. But a new study out of Massachusetts General Hospital, based on researcher observations during 277 procedures in the anesthesiology department, arrived at a far different conclusion. That about half of all surgeries involve a medication error or adverse drug event. Coming in, anesthesiology. The study also noted that surgeries lasting more than six hours were found to result in more errors than shorter operations. Well, think about it. I mean, listen, if you've got, say, one six or seven hour surgery to do in a day, or say you have five half hour surgeries to do in a day with everything, all the prep work in between, I mean, by the, by the fifth one, I don't care who you are, you're going to be prone to making mistakes. So what's behind the high rate of surgery drug errors? Seems it's the hectic nature of OR procedures which gives doctors less time to make checks and balances, unlike drugs administered at other times that get double-checked before the patient takes them. Now, I would like to say this. That's not 100% their fault, okay? That is also our fault because, and I'll tell you why, people don't take care of themselves and they don't take preventative measures to make sure that they don't end up on that table in the first place. So... If the instance of surgery, say, was cut in half, those accidents would go down 75%. Now, I'm not talking about surgery when it's necessary. That's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm talking about when you uh, say you don't do anything to prevent cancer or blood clots or anything at all, and then all of a sudden you're 35, 45 years old, and boom, you're falling apart. So, you know, we've got a role to play in this, too. 
And not only that, but what are we teaching our kids? Are we teaching our kids to stay healthy or are we teaching them that when you get older, you, uh, by default, because you're getting older, have to be on 20 different prescriptions? Think about it. What did they see their whole life? What did they see you do? Do they watch you get up and take your prescriptions every day? Or do they watch you supplement? Did you teach them about it? Did you go out and get that information? Well, that's what this show is about. You know, we try to uh, convince people that the best time to avoid getting sick in the future is right now. You don't want to end up on that table because uh, you don't want to end up taking Xarelto. You don't want to end up taking a chemo drug because you've got uh, bone and joint problems, and that's what they're doing. We've had callers talk about it. Well, the time to act is now before you get to that point. I mean, think about it. And, and, and the normalization of sickness and disease is being peddled to kids. Sesame Street now has a character or a puppet that is autistic. Her name is Julia. Okay? Now... I guess in one aspect, it's noble to make kids understanding of the situation, but why are we in a situation where kids now can expect to have, you know, a quarter to half of their classmates autistic? It wasn't that way even, you know, say 30, 40 years ago. When I grew up, I didn't know anybody that was autistic. We had, out of a school of about 500 kids, we had one class with about eight kids or so that had, uh, you know, mental retardation problems, autism. They needed a little bit of extra help. Now, it's off the charts, especially in places like California. Mike, we got gotcha? you? All right. I can't hear Mike still. He must be muted or something. Anyhow. What are we teaching our kids? Are we teaching them to stay healthy or are we going to teach them that being sick is normal and part of life? Well, there is a better way. I'm telling you right now. There's a better way. Don't teach your kids that it's normal to break down and get sick. That's what I do. I mean, just a few years ago, I was facing a situation where several people that I love were breaking down, including myself. Hey, and I'm you know what? I, oh, Mike's there. Listen to that. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Could you hear the last part we were talking about there? Um, I hung up partway through when I noticed that nobody was able to hear me for a while. So, um, <laughs> We're having a hard time today, aren't we? Yeah, I kind of gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, well... I don't know what to do. I heard something about Heather Locklear, and that's when I was just like, okay, well, I'm not. I was talking, okay, yeah, I was talking about how uh, we were talking about brainwashing in the medical education system, but it's a dual pronged attack. There are, there's a brainwashing process with the general public, okay? So if you ever watch a medical drama like Grey's Anatomy, Bones, uh, (laughs) yeah, yeah, any of these shows, yeah, they, they, they i remember i was watching one and they were talking about how they they were all waiting for the day that this one pharmaceutical rep would show up and when she did you had these three guys in scrubs drooling while heather locklear is walking down the hallway towards them and the wind is blowing her hair and there's this porno music playing in the background and they made it look like it was the sexiest thing in the world when the pharma rep showed up oh yeah those those shows are so far from reality it is not at all like those shows anybody who watches house or anything like that and believes what's going on it's no that's it's totally misleading it's all fiction um, well, and what's funny about it is people will say i like house he's a jerk <laughs> yeah he's, he's he's british or whatever he is uh he's british or is he australian i think he's I british he's Hugh Laurie is the actor's name he's faking the accent that's all i know He's he's doing a good job of faking the accent. Um, (laughs) But, yeah, the brainwashing process, like, you you asked me while 
I was still on, but you couldn't hear me. You asked me about the whole brainwashing. Um, you know, I mean, I went, I went through it, right? I mean, I have personal experience with it. So Let's hear about it. it. Hmm. Tell us about your experience with it. So my experience with it was, you know, during the first two years, it was, it was basically, they, they, they hammer you down so far. They, they hit you with all kinds of homework. They hit you with all kinds of things at once. And it's all stuff that doesn't really conform with what we originally learned in biology, chemistry, and physics. It seems to be tailor-made to a certain agenda. Everything that they do is tailor-made to an agenda, and, and it's, it's to make you into a specific person that they want you to be. And that's educational systems in general, right? A curriculum is not there to really make you into the person that you want to be. It's there to make you into the person that they want you to be. Okay? So, yeah, they break you down, and then the brainwashing is there's all kinds of ways that they brainwash. Like you said, the, the, the um, you know, the, in terms of medical doctors, like themselves, they get brainwashed by the pharmaceutical reps and all the gifts that they're given. Yeah. Um, in terms of students, there's promises of luxury after you go through this grueling, you know, uh, training phase. And, you know, some people, like you said, some people go into it with a kind heart. Other people just want to get rich. But you become a person in most cases, medical doctors become people that you just can't tolerate in real life. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm related to a lot of them, and I, you know, have people that in my in my close relations that have, you know, parents that are medical doctors. Yeah. Honestly, they're so far fetched from reality. Let's get into that a little bit. On the other side, we have one short segment left, and uh, we will be back after this. Welcome back. We're live. Final segment of the Dr. Glidden Show. And before the break, we were talking about the brainwashing that takes place in the education of the MPs and the general, general public in order to accept the situation that would otherwise be unacceptable. And Aldous Huxley actually talked about that in a famous speech before he developed tongue cancer and died. Conspiracy? Maybe. I don't know. Mike, you wanted to get into uh, how they buy these guys off in order to cement their place in the industry. Go ahead. Yeah, so as I mentioned, it all starts during the educational process where they're showered with gifts. But then the continuing education that we started to discuss was... You know, it's all paid for by the pharmaceutical industry, so they're going to fly you out to some great, you know, island in the middle of nowhere, beach resort, all fully paid for by the medical, by the pharmaceutical industry. And what they do is they pay off medical doctors to give a one- or two-hour speech. And, I mean, these doctors that are giving the speech are getting paid like $20,000 for an hour, okay? So you have a five-day vacation for only an hour of actual quote unquote studying and it's paid for by the pharmaceutical company so the, so a, a a vaccine company will pay a doctor to give a speech on their behalf and then go straight an article so so the pharmaceutical company will have an article written in a newspaper and this doctor just signs his name on it saying okay I wrote it and he'll make thousands and thousands of dollars. And the doctors are all happy because, you know, whoever it is, uh, Bayer or Merck or whatever, just paid them, you know, a $20,000 vacation or season tickets to the Knicks or all kinds of things like that. So you really have to start questioning when you go to the doctor and the doctor recommends something like, I don't know, uh, Lexapro or, or Zeralto or you know, Seroquel, anything like that. You have to question, first of all, why is he recommending a specific brand name of a class of drug that has generic brands and also has other cousins? Like, why is he specifically recommending Zoloft or specifically Paxil? you got to question, is he on the take? Well, 99.9% .9 of them are because the pharmaceutical reps will come in and they'll say, hey, you know, if you prescribe Zoloft, we're going to give you, you know, kickbacks based on, you know, how many prescriptions you fill out. So you really got to question things like that. Can you trust your doctor that he's prescribing the proper medication? Um, what about when they do false diagnoses? There's, there's a lot of fake 
diagnoses, things like, um, what's it called, uh, sleep apnea, for example. Sleep apnea right. is, is 100% fake. Um, you have things like bipolarism, okay, you know, uh, all kinds of other things that, that are fraudulent diagnoses but are really, really good for promoting the sales of specific drugs. Yeah, they're so, monetized. It's monetized. I mean, you got to question even if the doctor has, uh, has stocks in the stock market. He could have them under his wife's name. Well, you know, and you and, and when you question that doctor, chances are they're going to get really offended and angry that you would dare to question them. How dare you? Well, I mean, you're you're questioning the priesthood, right? You can't pay no that. attention to the man behind the curtain. Exactly. I mean, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, but I question whether or not you're taking money from you know these evil, evil, evil pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> well, and, and here's the thing on on the flip side of that: when you tell somebody about uh, a supplement company, longevity, or whatever the case might be, a lot of times people will say, "Oh, yeah, you just want to make money off of me." So I'll just oh. stick with my doctor. <laughs> the, <laughs> <You know? laughs> the, the skeptics. I, I love it when they yeah, call themselves yeah, yeah. skeptics. The, you know, I'm skeptical of your natural products. Um, well, if you were truly a skeptic, you would have simply read the actual pamphlet that comes in the, 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 the medical drugs that you take every day where it says you're going to become a homicidal, you know, uh, depressed, dry mouth, uh, diarrhea infested person. Side you know, if you take food. this pill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're drawing to a close here. And uh, Mike, thanks for joining the show. Tomorrow, Dr. Glidden is going to be back. And then we will be back in the uh, command chair here on Friday. Everybody, thanks for listening and have a great day. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. You heard the discussions all over the radio. You couldn't believe what you were hearing. You trusted them. How could you have not seen the signs? You felt betrayed. Outrage set in. Your emotions began to consume you. Then, nothing. Now they're talking football. Days turn to weeks and months. Then, you've forgotten. But they haven't. They're still monitoring your every move. It's coming. Monitor blockitpocket.com. Or will you forget? Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV as if chlorine in our water weren't bad enough, now they're adding ammonia? It's true. Some municipalities are now adding ammonia plus chlorine to your water supply. It's a disinfectant called chloramine. But with a trusted Big Berkey water filter, you can keep chloramine out of your water. New NSF EPA certified lab tests show EPA Berkey water filters remove chloramines, pharmaceuticals, BPA, pesticides, bacteria and viruses, all forms of fluoride, and much more. Big Berkey water filters are the original and most trusted on the market. The gold standard in water purification. And our filters last for years at less than two cents per gallon. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get your Big Berkey today. Call 1-877-99-BERKEY or click BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. 
Do you lay awake at night and worry about the health and safety of you and your loved ones? Do you wonder what would happen if you weren't able to get to a hospital or doctor? How can you keep your family safe against the deadly pathogens that are beginning to emerge in the world today? Give yourself peace of mind with Supernatural Silver. Supernatural Silver is turning heads around the world as a new weapon in the fight against bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Supernatural Silver can be taken internally or used topically to help the body's own immune system fight off disease much more effectively. Supernatural Silver has been tested at independent universities and laboratories around the world and has been proven to be safe and highly effective against some of the planet's deadliest pathogens. There is no better product to have in your home for daily use or emergency preparedness. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com, use the code SILVER2015 for 20% off, and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't take on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. Are you tired of commuting to a job that makes someone else rich? Working harder than ever, but getting nowhere? Do you hate spending hundreds of dollars every week on daycare? Having someone else raise your children? With our opportunities, you can start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss, work from home, and live a happier life. At Be The Boss Network, you'll find hundreds of work-from-home opportunities that you can literally start today and be earning money as soon as next week. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You get to be the boss. Get out of the rat race. Work from home. Go to freedom106.com right now and change your life today. That's freedom, the number 106.com. Go to freedom106.com and start earning money as soon as next week. You be the boss. Go to freedom106.com. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Hi, I'm Rick Osick with Famous Footwear. Did you know that premature birth is the number one killer of babies? That's why we support the March of Dimes in the fight against premature birth. Join us in supporting cutting-edge research, treatment programs, and outreach to help moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Learn how you can help save babies' lives at marchofdimes.org. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX, or my website, danpilla.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. 
Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to produce an endless supply of nano-sized silver solutions right from the convenience of your home. Silver Lungs. With the addition of our unique lung delivery system, respiratory infections are targeted directly, where traditional oral administration simply cannot reach. This pioneering method also preserves the original particle sizes and delivers your silver solution directly into the bloodstream. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Attention all men. Are you urinating more frequently? Do you wake up to urinate? Are you having a slower, weaker stream? Don't ignore the warning signs of your aging prostate. Get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Super Beta Prostate is guaranteed to support a more complete emptying of your bladder, a fuller, stronger stream, and less waking at night to urinate. Super Beta Prostate is a product that I really like. I endorse it. I use it myself. I was very pleasantly surprised that Super Beta Prostate helped me fairly quickly. Super Beta Prostate is formulated with a natural plant enzyme called beta cytosterol. It's so powerful, you'd have to take 100 salt palmetto pills to get the same sterols as just one Super Beta Prostate tablet. Don't ignore the warning signs of your aging prostate. Call now to get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Call 1-800-853-1203. That's 1-800-853-1203. 800-853-1203. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body, supercharge your health at alkavision.com. Is negative content or comments on the web affecting your personal or professional reputation? Unfavorable comments, embarrassing pictures, videos, legal documents, and bad tweets can ruin your personal life, your career, or your business. It happens a lot, and it's just not fair. But what can you do? Reputation.com can protect your good name. Get a free consultation now at 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Call right now for a free expert reputation analysis. It's easy to squash the unfair attacks with our patented system, and the analysis is absolutely free. Make the best things about you jump out in searches. Protect your personal and professional reputation, your business, and your income. Get your free reputation analysis from reputation.com right now. Call 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. 800-831-0771. 